Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Uh, we certainly do thank and praise the Lord because He's good and His mercy endureth forever. Mm -hmm. As the scripture says, I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Yeah. And let us enter in His gates with thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And let us enter in His courts with praise. Mm -hmm. So we want to go before the Lord in prayer. Uh, if you have a particular prayer request, I want you to remember to Terrell Bennett that the Lord will. Bless him, bless the family, Amen. that the Lord will uh, uh, deliver and strengthen. Amen. Amen. Any other particular prayer requests? First of all, our children, that God will give them a mind to be saved. Yes. Amen. Amen. All right. Now let's pray for the Bible study on tonight. That something be said or done to encourage us, to inspire our hearts. Amen. That we we'll always go higher in the Lord. Amen. The Lord wants us to go higher in him no matter the circumstance or no matter the condition mm -hmm. all right let every heart let, let us stand and let every heart pray oh gracious father in the name of jesus we come before you lord we just say thank you and thank praise you jesus. for your greatness and your mercy we thank you lord for having blessed each and every one of us you, now and throughout this day we ask you lord that you keep us in the center of your will Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you rebuke death, rebuke the devourer. Bless each and every prayer request that's been made known to you, Lord, yes, Lord, by your power and by your might. Bless our Bible study on tonight. Mm -hmm. Let something be said and done to encourage our hearts and to inspire us, Lord, to go higher yes. in thee. Mm -hmm. And, Lord, we thank you. We praise you. We give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. 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 I want to uh, continue tonight in the book of uh, Ephesians, Ephesians chapter number two, uh, Ephesians chapter number two. Thank you, Lord. And it's, it's, it's good, it's good for us to be able to come together, amen, to come together and to seek after God and to get into the word of God. Uh, the scripture says, it's quick and it's powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. Mm -hmm. And uh, my heart, my mind has been on that sermon that we preached on Sunday. Don't forsake your help. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Don't we shouldn't forsake our help. Amen. Always come boldly to God's throne of grace, yes. that we might find that grace and help and mercy to help us in the time of need. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. And you know, when you look at your life and you look at <clears throat> Even when you're at your best, you're still in need. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what state you're in, you need the Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you. It's like how some people take uh, uh, medications and they die and they stop taking it. And they say to the doctor, doctor asked the question, well, why you, how, how, how come your, your condition got worse on you and, and how come you stopped taking the medication? And they say, well, we felt better. And don't realize the reason why you felt better was because you was taking the medication. Yeah. Amen. When we feel better, sometimes when we pray and seek God, we feel better. Mm -hmm. And we think that, hey, okay, I'm good now. I don't need to do it. Now we got to understand the reason why you feel better is because you were seeking after the Lord. Yeah. He was calling on his name. Yeah. So let us remember always to call on the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And in the book of Ephesians, uh, chapter number 2. And I want you to drop down with me to uh, verse number 11. Uh, Ephesians chapter number 2, uh, verse number 11. And um, we were, um, the, Lord, the Lord wants us to know, the Lord wants us to know that uh, when we are in Christ Jesus, things have changed. When you get saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, and, 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 and the desire to walk with God, your position in life has changed, changed from a sinner to a saint of the Lord. And um, that's what uh, these first uh, bit of Ephesians lets us know. And sometimes, you know, we hang on to them at old way of thinking. God doesn't want you to hang on to that old way of thinking. He wants you to have that renewed mind. Amen? Have that renewed thought. Uh, think new. Think, think uh, uh, soberly according to the scriptures. Be not conformed, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. 
And uh, the way to do that is, is to constantly be in the presence of the Lord, rereading his word and receiving what he has for you. So in Ephesians uh, 2 and 11, uh, Pastor Duck, will you read for us? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Wherefore remember uh -huh. that ye being in time past Gentiles of the flesh, mm -hmm. who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hand. Now notice how Paul is, is writing this. He says, wherefore remember, don't forget, but remember that ye were in times past Gentiles in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Meaning that there, before you got saved, you, you walked according to the course of this world. Mm -hmm. You were disobedient. Uh, you, you were without God, without hope in this world. But when you came to the Lord, that all changed. You're no longer uh, uh, what they call the uncircumcision. That was another name that the Jews used for uh, the Gentiles, uncircumcision. Uh, uh, you're no longer called that. You're no longer called unsaved. Uh, by that which is, can you read that again? Wherefore remember uh -huh. that ye being in time past Gentiles of the flesh, yes. who are called uncircumcision uh -huh. by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. All right, uh, the Jews used to call uh, the Gentiles uncir uncircumcised, meaning they were really saying that you're unsaved, mm -hmm. you're undelivered. You, 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 don't, you don't belong to the covenant of God. The promises of God don't belong to you. They belong to us, who, who God had, had blessed us through Abraham. All right, read. Hallelujah. That at that time you were without Christ, uh -huh. being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, yes. and strangers from the covenants of promise, uh -huh. having no hope, yes. and without God in the world. Now, he, he's writing this to show us what bad condition we were in uh, at one time without Jesus. Uh, when you got Jesus on your side, you've been elevated. You, you, you've been translated. You, you're in a great position. Man. Notice how he put it. That at that time, at that time when you were unsaved, mm -hmm. uh, you were, were what? Without Christ. without Christ. Without the Messiah. Mm -hmm. with, without Jesus. Mm -hmm. Notice, being aliens from the uh, commonwealth of Israel. Meaning that you were aliens from the promises of God. Mm -hmm. Amen? That the promises of God did not pertain to you at one time. But the, the good news is, now they do pertain to you. Amen? God has made us some great and precious promises. Yes. Amen? Amen? And we being uh, in the body of Christ, we have, we have great access to God. At one time, we didn't have access to God. Uh, notice what it says, we were without hope. We didn't have a hope. No. <laughs> Hallelujah. But when you're in Christ Jesus, you got a hope. Uh, and, and that hope, the Bible says, is sure and it's steadfast that, that when, you're, when you've been translated into Christ, you've been translated into a position of power, a position of authority. Uh, you should hold your head up high and walk with God. No matter if the tests and trials come and the tribulations come, so what? Uh, trust in Lord because when you trust in God, you got you got an avenue of hope. You got an avenue of deliverance. You, you have access to the Lord where you can call on Him uh, and get some strength. Yes. So that's what Paul is saying. Can you read that verse again? That, at that time, you were without Christ. At that time, when you were unsaved, you were without Christ. Being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. Meaning you were a foreigner from the commonwealth of Israel. And here he's using it, you were a foreigner from the church. Mm -hmm. Amen. The, the, the church, you were a foreigner from the church. Read. And strangers from the covenants of promise. Now notice what he said. Strangers from the covenants of promise. God made in Abraham some great and precious promises yeah. that at one time did not belong to us, but now it belongs to us. Mm -hmm. and, and some of those promises, one, one great promise that sticks out in my mind that God said he was going to bless Abraham's seed. Yeah. Amen. He was going to bless Abraham's seed. 
And because you received Christ, uh, you are now Abraham's seed. Therefore, you are blessed. Amen. That doesn't matter what the enemy tell you. <laughs> don't matter what the what your own mind may tell you. Don't matter what kind of situation you feel like you're in, huh? Because you you blessed because God says you're blessed. And God made this particular covenant with Abraham not based on Abraham's ability, but based on God's ability. In other words, Abraham didn't have to do nothing to receive this blessing. Uh, God said, I'm going to bless you, and your seed is going to be as the, uh, 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 an innumerable. Uh, you can't be able to count it. I'm going to make it like the sand of the sea. <laughs> you won't be able to count it. And that kind of blows my mind in this respect because you don't see a whole lot of people getting saved. Uh, but God said Abraham's seed is going to be innumerable. <laughs> so however God, however God do it, thank you, Lord, that's, that's his business. But, but be, count yourself blessed because you are part of that seed. Amen. Hallelujah. And then God told Abraham, I'm going to give you the land. Uh, and, and when you really uh, uh, study it and look it over the scripture, uh, the, the Bible says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and they that dwell therein, uh, we bless. Hallelujah. Uh, we blessed in this land. Uh, we can ask what we will. We can call on the name of the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. And, 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 and God said at one point he's going to make a new heaven uh, and a new earth yeah. for us to dwell therein. Yeah. Uh, these, these promises are everlasting. Yeah. Uh, they, they're just some promises. Y'all heard about Christmas time. Uh, they give that gift that keeps on giving. Mm -hmm. uh, these promises of God, they keep on giving. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad I'm on the Lord's side. Uh, I'm glad, thank you, Lord, that, that, that I'm, I'm part of the covenant. I'm part of the relationship. I'm part of the household of faith. You should take pride in the fact that you are a part of the relationship, that you're part of the household of faith. Uh, and then that way, because of that mindset, when stuff happens, uh, you know who you are. Uh, and you know that, 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 that the blessings of God are upon thee. Amen. Amen. Yeah, glory. Hallelujah. All right, read that again, Pastor. That at that time, that at that time you were without Christ, uh -huh. being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, yes. and strangers from the covenants of promise, uh -huh. having no hope, uh -huh. and without God in the world. Now Paul is saying all of this not to, to condemn the people, but to literally encourage the people. Uh, you heard the expression. Uh, you don't realize what you had until you lost it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. And Paul, Paul is telling them that. You know, uh, you've got some great and precious promises. And don't go to the point that you lose Christ and, and then want to look back on what you had. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. you you got to realize you got something great, uh, something mighty. And that way you won't sell out. Amen. That way you, you'll hold what you got in confidence. Yes. You won't be like Esau. Uh, get so hungry that you sell your birthright uh, for some bean soup. Uh, God, God got angry with Esau uh, because he did that. Because Esau didn't really appreciate what he had. Amen. Amen. And you got to appreciate what you got. Appreciate what uh, uh, God did uh, in Christ for you. Amen. Amen. Uh, there was a great price that was prayed. Yes. Uh, there was a great anointing that was poured out. Yes. Hallelujah. There was some great uh, uh, deliverance that was made on our behalf. Yes. Hallelujah. My God. My God. When I think of the goodness yes. of Jesus yes. uh, and all that he has done, yes. uh, our soul should cry out. Hallelujah. Yeah. Huh? Thank you. Hey, Chloe, aren't you glad that you're saved? Yeah. Sanctified? Yeah. Feel with them? You ain't what you used to be? Uh, <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I may not be where I want to be, yes, but I sure ain't what I used to be. Yeah. Hallelujah. And that's because of the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, hey, Chloe, that's what Paul was trying to bring their mind back to. Yeah. Hallelujah. Rejoice in the Lord. Yeah. Uh, he said, always again I say. Yeah. Uh, rejoice. Yeah. Hallelujah, God. My God, encourage yourself. Yeah, yeah. hallelujah. Don't let nobody, don't let nobody steal your joy. Don't let nobody steal your peace. Hallelujah. Don't let nobody steal your power. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Lord. You've been bought with a price. Yeah. Uh, you are not your own. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My God. My God. 
I thank God huh, for the Holy Ghost. Yes. Thank you, Lord. My God. And you know, thank you, Lord. And you know how blessed we are? Yes. I, I, I think about it. That, that the only way of salvation was, was by, uh, by through Israel believing in Jesus. Yes. So all of those people that were before us, Huh? That that were pagan worshippers, mm -hmm. Gentiles. Mm -hmm. You know they all perished because they hadn't had Christ revealed unto them. Yeah. Huh? By God, we're living in an age. Yeah. We're living in a time uh -huh. huh? where Christ is revealed unto us. Yeah. Huh? We're, we're, oh my God! Hallelujah! We we we're, we're special. Uh -huh. Hey, Hallelujah! We're special. Yeah. Count yourself special. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. You could have you could have been living in an era where Christ was not revealed. Yeah. Huh? And, and, and their only one way of salvation, yeah. that's through Jesus. Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. So thank God that you're living in a time yeah. uh, where God has revealed his son unto you. Yeah. Made him known unto you. Uh, uh, and you heard his voice. Yeah. Uh, and you humbled yourself. Hallelujah, uh, beneath the mighty hand of God and believed on Him. Hallelujah, yeah. uh, you're blessed. Hallelujah, yeah. uh, you're blessed. Thank Don't you. forget that, you're blessed. Amen. Hey, glory. Now, you were without hope at one time. Yes. Uh, thank you, Lord. Strangers from the promises of God. Yes. Uh, but through Christ Jesus, that's no longer the case. Mm -hmm. uh, what verse are we in? 13. All right, read. Hey, glory. But now in Christ Jesus, <laughs> you who sometimes were far off yes. are made nigh by the blood of Christ. Amen. He's talking still about the Gentiles, mm. uh, which we were. Mm. If you're not Jewish, you're a Gentile. Right. Amen. But but in Christ, uh, we're saints of God. Yes. Amen. Connected to that root of the Gentile or, or the Jews. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now read that verse again, 13. But now in Christ Jesus. But now in Christ Jesus. I like what he said. Ye who sometimes were far off. No, meaning that 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 you were without hope, you were far off. Mm -hmm. Christ has not been revealed. Amen. There was a time in life where Christ wasn't revealed to the Gentiles. Yes. Amen? Amen. And I thought, like I said earlier, I thought about that. That hit me like a ton of bricks. Because um uh, because Christ was not revealed to them, uh, those people died without a hope. Yes. Amen? Yes. And just think about all the ages and all, look, all the hours of time that all those people died without a hope. Without unless they made themselves a proselyte and, and, and connected themselves to the Jewish faith. Yes. Amen? Amen. Uh, but there weren't people doing that. Uh, back then, uh, as 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 we would count that the world, when we look at all the different nations of the world, yes. uh, my God, but God, the Bible says, who is rich in mercy, yes. uh, wherewith He loved us, yes. uh, it was Christ that died. Yes, uh, yeah, and rather that is risen again. Hallelujah. Yeah, glory. All right, read that uh, thirteen verse again. We in Ephesians two and thirteen. But now in Christ Jesus, uh -huh. you who sometimes are far off, yes. are made nigh by the blood of Christ. Now we're made nigh. That word made nigh is mean that now when we receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior, uh, the blood of Jesus cleanses us yes. because of the sacrifice of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because he died on the cross for our sins, uh, he, he reconciled us back to God. God is angry at sin. Yeah. Uh, and we were at one time the enmity of God. Yeah. God, God looked on us and and didn't want anything to do with us mm -hmm. because of sin. Yeah. But when the shed blood of Jesus came on the scene and Jesus offered Himself as a sacrifice mm -hmm. unto God without sin, mm -hmm. and when we receive Jesus, the blood of Jesus mm -hmm. it cleanses us yeah. uh, from all of our sin. And now God can look at us and, and, and with peace. Mm -hmm. Amen. No longer wrath. Yeah. Now God wants to help us. Yeah. Now God wants to deliver us. Yeah. Now God wants to, wants to uh, and, and give us all of his great and precious promises. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Read that verse again, Pastor Doug. But now in Christ Jesus, uh -huh. you who were sometimes were far off, yes. are made nigh by the blood of Christ. Amen. Now, 
Now, it's through the, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. The Bible says it's the power of God yes. unto salvation. Yes. And the gospel deals with the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Yes. And, and when you accept that gospel, mm -hmm. hallelujah, and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, yes. thank you, Lord, God, God does something great and special for you yes. in your life mm -hmm. through Christ Jesus. Amen. And because he does that something that's great and special for you, uh -huh. hallelujah, he brings you into his household of faith. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He brings you into yes. all of his great and precious promises. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. No longer a stranger, yes. hallelujah, yes. But, but a fellow heir. Yes. Hallelujah. No longer an outcast. Yes. Hallelujah. But a joint heir with Christ. Yes. My God, I'm so happy about Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so happy about the Savior. Oh, Hallelujah, I'm so happy. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, I'm, I'm excited about it. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, uh, uh. Like they say, you, you can't live without it. Yeah. Hallelujah. And I ain't going to try to live without it. Yeah. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, it's, it's something to have Jesus on your side. Hallelujah. So many wonderful things yes, about Jesus. Yeah, Hallelujah. So many wonderful things about him. Thank you, Lord. Now, now, read that verse again, Pastor 13. But now in Christ Jesus, uh -huh. you who sometimes were far off, yeah. are made nigh by the blood of Christ. Now, 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 I, I was, a, we were afar off at one time. Mm -hmm. And being afar off, we had no hope. Amen. But now that you're nigh unto Christ, now you got a hope. Yes. Amen. Amen. At one time, we were not considered to be in the covenant of promise. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now we're in the covenant of promise. Yes. In other words, we, we've got some great and precious promises Amen. that we need to cash in on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. God told Abraham that anybody that bless you, I'm going to bless them. Right. Anybody that come at you, I'm going to come at them. Yes. Hallelujah. So, so you know, you got to stand strong. Hallelujah. Don't fear what man shall try to do unto you. Because God is your life. And God is your salvation. And God is your hope. Hallelujah. You got those promises resting upon you. All you got to do is walk by faith. All right, glory. And not by sight. It ain't about what I see. It's about what God has promised. It's about what God has said. It is about what's written. Hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah. That changes the game, don't yeah. it? Yeah. You, can, you can be a day late, a dollar short, and still be blessed. Yeah. Because God's grace and mercy is upon your life. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's a game changer. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you. Shut yeah. yeah. up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Hallelujah. It's a game changer. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Just think about just think about Moses. Moses uh, was, was, was one that, that feared God, walked with God, but Moses had an anger management problem. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. He smoked the rock when he should have spoke to the rock. Yes. And God said, for that Moses, you're not going to go to the promised land. Yes. But here's grace and mercy and God's decision to overrule everything. Mm -hmm. When Moses died, uh, the devil showed up. Hallelujah. But, but the archangel Paul, uh, Michael came and rebuked the devil. Why? Because Moses belonged to God. Uh, and God will forgive you. Hey, hallelujah. Who, who can stand against it? That come on, shot. If God is for you, uh, who then can be against you? Hey, hallelujah. We ought to give God a praise. That come on, shot. Thank you, Lord. All souls belong to God. That's right. Amen. You, you say, I belong to God. I belong to God. I, I belong to God. Hallelujah. I've been bought by Christ Jesus yeah. and his precious blood. Yeah. Hey, hallelujah. So, so that's what you present to the devil when he come to you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I, I don't belong to you no more, devil. No. Uh, not only did I switch partners, but you did. No. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank yeah. you, Jesus. I've been born again. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Let's, let's move forward. What's it say? 14. Uh-huh. For he is our peace. Now notice, notice. Jesus Christ now, he is your peace. Yeah. And, and that word peace comes from the 
word shalom, which means when we, we often think of this word peace as just being a peace of mind, tranquility. But when you look at that whole word of peace in its true context, it means that, that, that you have everything you need in God. Yes. Amen. He supplied everything you need. That's that peace. Mm -hmm. Amen. He supplies everything you need. Yes. Hallelujah. That gives you the peace. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So, so, so when he says he is your peace, mm -hmm. that means he is your everything. Yes. Hallelujah. And, and, and because he's your everything, he supplied everything you need. Yeah. Hallelujah. God, God is an awesome God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Notice, if we were, we ain't going to go there, but if we go to the first chapter of Ephesians, it would tell you that God has blessed you uh, in, in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And he's given you all things uh, that pertain unto what? Life and godliness. Yeah. Hallelujah. My God. So that's why he's your peace. Yes. Amen. He's your shalom. Yes. Hallelujah. He, he's your everything. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus is your everything. Yes. Hallelujah. My God. I'm a preach right there. He's my everything. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Everything. Yes. Wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in Jesus. Yes. He's your everything. Yes. Uh, if you're if if you're seeking something outside of Him, you don't need it. Yes, right. Hallelujah! If you're going after something outside of the will of God, yes. uh, you don't need it. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Everything you need is in Christ Amen. Jesus. God wrought it in Him before the foundation of the world, and He exclamated it when He rose Him from the dead, yes. uh, and He gave Him all power. That kind of shut. If Jesus got all power, what do you have? Yeah. All power. How do you got access to him? Yeah. My God, that is able to do exceeding. Yeah. That's able to do abundant. Yeah. Hallelujah. You got to lift up your bow down head and strengthen your feeble knee. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. My God. My God. You know, sometimes we like to have a pity party. But we ain't got a reason to have a pity party. Uh, if you in Christ Jesus, hallelujah, you 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 shouldn't. I know I know we just flesh. I know I know I know how we think sometimes. Amen. Hallelujah. But but you need to turn that thing around. Yeah. Hey, hallelujah. Ain't no reason to have a pity party no. uh, with Jesus. Am I right? Yeah. Hallelujah. All right. We we'll read that verse again. For he is our peace. He is our peace. Who have made both one uh -huh. and have broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Now, now, notice what he's saying. Because God, now we have to realize this. Because God made some promises to Abraham and to Abraham's seed. Amen. And he made those promises to Abraham's seed by faith. Amen. And we become Abraham's seed by faith. Yes. So therefore, those promises that God made unto Abraham and his children, they belong to us. Mm -hmm. Amen? Thank you, Lord. We're, we're, not, we're not, though we are adopted in the royal family, yes. uh, our adoption means that we share in everything that the originals had. Amen. In in today's society, if you have an adopted child, uh, that child may not get everything that the original children get or the natural born children get. Amen. But but in God, uh, we receive that as there is no difference. Amen. No difference uh, between Jew and Gentile, between black and white. Hallelujah. Uh, no difference. Uh, with God, we are a part of His household. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Lord, and we have access to everything. Hallelujah! Yeah. Uh, that God, uh, He is our peace, and He have made both one, Jew and Gentile. Yeah. We are one. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. The Jews look, used to look down on us. Mm -hmm. Amen. In, in the Old Testament, mm -hmm. they used to look down. They didn't have nothing to deal with Gentiles. You follow me? Mm -hmm. And that was taught by their laws. So that's why Paul had to teach this. Amen? That, that, that you remember Peter? Peter, uh, he didn't want to go over to Cornelius' house. 
But God had to prepare his heart. Uh, send him that vision, uh, that dream when he was asleep. Uh, and he saw uh, the sheep come down from heaven. And it was all matter of beast in the sheep. And the sheep. And the Lord in the vision told him to rise, Peter, slay and eat. And he said, not so. Nothing uncommon or unclean has, has, has entered into my lips or I have eaten. Thank you, Lord. But God said, call not that common or unclean that which I have cleansed. Yes. Notice, God has cleansed us, Amen. Uh, sanctified us, yeah. uh, separated us. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hey. You're clean yeah. through the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Uh, you're sanctified through the blood of Jesus. Yeah. You've been set apart. Yeah. Amen. Now, now you are a worshiper of God. Yeah. You can worship your God in spirit and in truth. You can call on him. Uh, and he'll answer you. Hey, honey, he'll show up. Honey, he's showing up right now. Yeah, honey, come on, shot. Hey, be glad because we're one. Amen. One with him. Amen. One in Christ Jesus. Now, what he's saying is, is that Christ has broken down that middle wall, that middle wall of separation. Uh, there's no division in Christ Jesus. Amen. We're all made to drink of that same cup. Yeah. Huh? That cup. That cup. Amen. That cup of salvation. Yeah. That's why I can't look down on my brother and my sister. Yeah. Amen. That's why I can't look down on nobody. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Oh, hey, my God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. It ain't our job to judge people. Yeah. Amen. It ain't time to judge people. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's time to help people. Yeah. Amen. It's time to call on the name of Jesus yeah. for people. Amen. Today is the day of grace. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let God separate the goat from the sheep. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We just work on being sheep. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you. Let God work on separating the wheat from the tail. Yeah. Hallelujah. We just make sure we're weak. Yeah. Hallelujah. My God. Amen. Let come on. Shut the Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. My God. My God. My God. We're one. Yeah. Amen. One in Christ. Yeah. Amen. One in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Amen. That's that's a powerful place to be in. Yeah. Amen. Anointed. Yeah. Anointed in the Savior. Mm -hmm. Anointed in Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. All right. Read. What does it say, Pastor? 15. Uh-huh. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, uh -huh. even the law of commandments contained in ordinances. Now notice. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity. Amen. That that word enmity means hatred. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, at, uh, God is angry at sinners. Yes. And that angry, that anger at sinners, it's literally hatred. Mm -hmm. Amen. That makes God want to unleash his wrath upon us. Yes. Man, what controls God's wrath is his grace and his mercy. Yes. Uh, now, his wrath is going to be poured out uh, on those at the appointed time. Uh, but now, his grace and his mercy is upholding his wrath. Yeah. Uh, so that, so the Bible says it, uh, it's of uh, God's mercies that we are not consumed. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. And, and then it goes on to say, uh, uh, it's of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions, yeah. uh, what? Yeah. Fail not. God is having compassion on us. Yeah. Uh, hey! Hallelujah. And that word compassion means that God sees you in need and his desire is to help you. Aren't you glad for God's help? Hallelujah. God wants to help you. Uh, that's what compassion is. To see you in need and then want to turn around and help you. Because his compassions fail not. Notice, they are new every morning. Uh, every morning. Hallelujah. And then it says, great is <laughs> that faithfulness. Great is the faithfulness of God. Uh, great is the faithfulness of God. Uh, and God can have that type of attitude towards you through Christ Jesus. Because his hope is, is that an individual would one day turn to Christ. Uh, that one day will turn and accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior and, and, and live that holy life. Be filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Hallelujah. To receive the 
inheritance of God. Yeah. To receive the promises of God. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. My God, my God. You know, I'm getting excited because my mind keeps going back to God's original plan. Amen? God, He predestinated us. Yes. Amen? Meaning that He preordained us. Yes. Amen? That, that we should be partakers of this great grace. Yes. That we should be partakers of the great inheritance that he has for us. Mm -hmm. Amen? So, so, so it, it would be counterproductive for God to kill everybody. Right. Uh, because it's like you prepare this great dinner, this great banquet, and then don't invite nobody. Right. Uh, then keep, keep the door locked mm -hmm. so nobody can't come in. Uh, that's a waste of time, a waste of effort. Amen. That's counterproductive. And that's not your goal. Uh, that's why he said, whosoever will, <laughs> let them come. Uh, and he said, you can't afford it, so you can't come, come without price. Uh, you can't afford this salvation. Uh, it's, 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 it's God who supplied it. Uh, you're saved by grace and not through faith. Uh, not of your works. I mean, it's God's work. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, baby, all you got to do is heed the call. Yeah. Hey, that's all you got to do is come. Yeah. Uh, show up. Yeah. Uh, hey, I mean, repent. Uh, get baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sins. Yeah. Uh, and God said, I'll give you uh, the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. I'll give you power. I'll give you the anointing. I'll give you grace. I'll give you strength. Hey, son of the shot. Then he said, I'll be your shield. I'll be your protection. I'll be your light. I'll be your salvation. Hey, son of the most shot. Hallelujah. I'll put the devil under your feet. Hey, come on, shot. Hallelujah. All you got to do is just walk in my way. Hallelujah. That's all we got to do. Hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God has done something great for us. Amen. Uh, don't, don't, don't cast away your confidence. Huh? Which have great recompense and reward. Huh? You just have need of patience. Huh? That after you have done the will of God, huh? that you might receive the promise. Huh? Wait on the Lord. Huh? And while you're waiting, be of good courage. Huh? So he can strengthen your heart. Huh? He'll cause you to mount up. As wings of eagles, he'll cause you to run and not be weary. Yeah. Uh, then he'll cause you to walk and not faint. Yeah. Uh, but you gotta wait. Yeah. Hey, you gotta wait. Yeah. Uh, and that's what this Bible class is about. So you get a great understanding what you're waiting for. Yeah. Uh, when we talk about having a hope in God, I'm not having a hope in EMTA showing up. Uh, they may be late. Hallelujah. They may not show up at all. Yeah. They may get stuck. Hallelujah. But they that wait upon the Lord. Yeah. Hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You got to that kind of shot. Yeah. When you wait on the Lord, you wait with confidence. Yeah. Hey, hallelujah. Yeah. You wait with trusting in Him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He'll show up. Yes, that kind of shot. Yes, hallelujah. Amen. He'll show up. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord will show up. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not about it's not about if, it's about we. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. That's what it's about when. Hallelujah. And, 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 and while you're waiting on him, huh, you gotta do something in the meantime. Huh? And, and while you're waiting on him, the Bible says, stand what? Steal and see the salvation of the Lord. While I'm standing and waiting on God, I'm building myself up. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Because when he shows up, I got to be ready to move. Yeah. Huh? You can't be weak as death and dust. Hallelujah. And tell, say that you're waiting on God. Huh? Yeah. Because when he shows up, you got to move. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. So you keep yourself built up yes. huh? on your most holy faith. Yeah. And you're trusting in God. Yes. Believing in God. Yeah. Amen. Encouraging yourself. Yes. Amen. 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 Oh, why you got tested and trials. Yes, Amen. Not to destroy you, but to save you. Yes. I am. Hallelujah. Yes, I'm here to get your mind refocused yes, on Jesus. Yes, and hallelujah. To let you realize what you have is precious. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What, I, what we're going through is increasing our love. Yeah. What we're going through is increasing our faith. 
walk with God. Yes, hey, hallelujah. You, you see the truth yes, when you walk yes, with God. Yes, hey, hallelujah. God, God put you on straight street. Yes. Hallelujah. You don't look at things the way the world looks at things. Yes. Amen. You don't, you don't see things the way the world sees things. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. It rained outside. The world said, oh, it's raining again. You say, thank God for the rain. Because Amen. in the rain, there won't be no flowers. Right. The rain, there won't be no rain. Uh, so when test and trial comes yeah. to you, you say, thank God for the test and trials. Yeah. Because it's building me up. Right. It's making me stronger. Yeah. It's going to cause me to bear more fruit. Thank God I'm all shut. Thank God I'm all shut. Thank God I'm all shut. You can say, he's just purging me. Yeah. He's just pruning me. Yeah. I'm here so I can bear more fruit. And I trust him because he won't put no more on me than I can bear. I trust him because when he allowed it to come, he already made a way of escape. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My God, don't, don't get down on your knees and start praying and say, Lord, this light affliction. Uh, it's just but for a moment. Yeah. Hey, hallelujah. Don't, don't start calling what you're going through a light thing. Yeah. Hey, hallelujah. You yeah. start acting like that. Oh, my God. The Holy Ghost will start moving. Yeah. The Holy Ghost will start coming on. Yeah. The Holy Ghost will start lifting that heaven low. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Yeah. My God. We, that's what we need to do, saints. Yeah. My God. We need to speak to our mountains. Uh, we need to speak to our conditions. Yes. We need to speak to our situation. Yes. Hey, hallelujah. We need to count it all joy. Yes. Uh, when we fall into our dialless temptation. Yes. Amen. Come on. Shut Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we got access to God. Yes. Amen. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Yes. Who paid the price. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. You're somebody. Hold, hold that scripture right there, Pastor Doug. And just go with me to 1 Peter 2 and 9. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Lord, I see now why you have me going this way. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My God. Now notice what he said. You are what? You've been chosen by God. Uh, uh, what did he say? <laughs> so, a royal priesthood. An holy nation. You're a holy nation. A peculiar people. <laughs> You're a peculiar people. That you should show up the praises of him. Uh -huh. Who have called you out of darkness. Yes. Into his marvelous. Come on, come on, give God a praise. Oh, this is your position in him. Yes. Amen. Read that again, Pastor. But ye are a chosen generation. You, you've been chosen. A royal priesthood. You are royal. And holy nation. You are holy. A peculiar people. You're peculiar. That you, you should show forth the praises of him. Uh -huh. Who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Now that's your whole life. Yes. Uh, to show the praises of God. Yes. That's why he anointed you. Mm -hmm. That's why he chose you. Mm -hmm. To let your light shine before men. That they may see your good works yes. and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Yes. That's why he made you holy. Yes. That's why he made you royal. Yes. That's why he chose you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Some of us, I don't know how many brothers and sisters you got in your family, and I don't know how many of them say, uh, but thank God he chose you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hey, hallelujah. He chose you, picked you out the box. Amen. Uh, you, you, I, I'm sure that everybody in here that has accepted Jesus felt different growing up. Amen. You didn't fit in. Because right. uh, you were different. Yeah. Hey, cut up shot. Hey, hallelujah. Because you because the hand of God was upon you. Yeah. The anointing of God was upon you. Yeah. The blood of Jesus was waiting for you. Yeah. Uh, the Holy Ghost was rooting for you. Yeah. Hey, hallelujah. Hey, cut up shot, cut up shot. Hallelujah. When I say the Holy Ghost was rooting for you, the Holy Ghost was praying for you, making intercession for you. Hallelujah. Thank you. When you were dead in your trespasses and sin, the Holy Ghost was saying, God, don't kill her. Don't wipe her out. Hallelujah. Because I want to fill her. Hallelujah. There's some hope in her. Hallelujah. I see some good in her. Remember, God, we're going to use her unto your glory. 
Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Don't think that the Holy Ghost was only working for you when you received it. It was working for you when you was out there in the world. Yes, How do you think you came into the body of Christ? Yes. It was the goodness of the Lord that led you to repentance. Yes. It was the Holy Ghost. That's the goodness of the Lord that led you to repent. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. My God, when we put two to two together, it all makes sense. Oh, yeah. Hey, Shabbat. Yes. Hey, hallelujah. Yes. All right, let's go back over, Pastor. Hold the whole Bible said. What's that next verse, number 10 uh -huh. in 2 Peter? It fits, it fits in, too. Okay, go ahead. Which in time past were not a people. Now, see that? They fit totally in. <laughs> go ahead, Pastor. But are now the people of God. My God. And that's, that's ain't that what we're talking about in, in, in Ephesians? Mm -hmm. In times past, we were not a people. Yes. Huh? But what now? Which in time past were not a people. Uh huh. But are now the people of God. Now, now notice, read. Which had not obtained mercy. Uh huh. But now have obtained mercy. Now that's what you got to focus on. Yeah. Not your past life. Mm -hmm. Not the stuff you used to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. Now you can remember that stuff, but don't focus on that stuff. The only reason why you should remember that stuff so you don't get the big head. That's right. <laughs> think, That's right. think you all that in the bag of chips. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you. Realize that God brought you somewhere. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And then the reason, the other reason why you should remember so that you can tell other people uh -huh. uh, where you've been yeah. right. and where Christ has brought you yeah. from. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Huh? But notice what it says. In times past, we were not a people. No. Huh? But your focus should be on that, that part B of that. But now are you. What's it say? But well, are now the people of God. But now are the people of God. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Of the household of faith. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Of the covenants of promise. Mm -hmm. You're the seed of Abraham. Yes. Amen. Thank you. You somebody. Yeah. Royal. Yeah. Chosen. Mm -hmm. huh? Hallelujah. Holy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can have Bible study on that. Holy. Oh. Uh, separate from sinners. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hey, clean by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. When you got baptized into that water, huh, that God, God was cleaning up your conscience. Yes. Amen. So you can have a clear conscience toward him. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. So that when the enemy comes, you can say there is therefore now no condemnation. Yes. Huh? Because now I'm in Christ Jesus and I'm not walking after the flesh, but I'm walking after the spirit. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, don't let the devil beat you down. Amen. Don't let the devil condemn you. Amen. Uh, and if you do anything wrong, repent. Uh, uh, let the blood of Jesus cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Amen. Don't stay stuck. Uh, don't stay stuck. This thing is too great. Hallelujah. You follow me? Yeah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Jesus. All right, where we at? Where we at, Pastor? Let's go back. Two, uh, two and fifteen. Uh huh. Have abolished his flesh, the enemy. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, have abolished in his flesh the hatred mm -hmm. when Jesus was beat beyond recognition. Mm -hmm. He was abolishing the hatred between you and God. Mm -hmm. Amen. He was abolishing the hatred that the Jews had about you as well. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Because uh, the Bible says Jesus was beat beyond recognition. Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. His, vis his vision was marred. Yes. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. And what he took for us, my God, what he took for us, uh, 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 words cannot express it. No. I, I like that movie, Passion of the Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen? But I'm going to say this. Uh, it was worse than that. <laughs> and that was bad. Yeah. Amen? Thank you, Lord. And he literally had to taste death for you and I. Yeah. Amen? For every man. Yes. Amen? Amen? And he literally was tempted with everything the whole wide world would be tempted with, not only in the world that he was living, not only in the world that was in the past, but he was tempted in everything that would come upon the world that's future. Amen. For everything. Amen. Past, present, and future. Thank you, Lord. Jesus uh, took on that. He took on that sin. Amen. And notice the Bible said, it pleased God uh, to bruise him. Hallelujah. Why? Why did it please God? Because God was seeing that what Jesus was doing would bring righteousness to you. Would bring salvation to you. Would bring deliverance to you. Amen. And not only, not only did he go through our physical pains for us, he went through emotional pains for us. Yes. Amen. Yes. Uh, the Bible tells you that. If we were to go over to uh, Isaiah, we don't have to go there. Isaiah 53, uh, he bore our griefs. Yes. Amen. And he carried our sorrows. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So that your griefs and your sorrows are emotional pain and struggle. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And he carried all of that. Uh, he took care of the total man, if you allow me to say, yeah. uh, to take away the enmity, yeah. uh, so that no longer God looks at us with a uh, with hatred in His eyes. Yeah. Uh, say, oh, I don't even want to see Him. Uh, thank you, Lord. Oh my God. Uh, but in Christ Jesus, now God wants to love you. Yeah. He wants to take care of you. Mm -hmm. Amen. All of His precious promises that He had stored up. Uh, before the foundation of the world, now he can release them to you. Yes. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. And you know what? what I, 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 I ain't trying to get off the Bible study, but, but we got to think about the mind of God. Mm -hmm. now, now, although God has all these great and precious promises, uh, God tailors those precious, great and precious promise, promises to us as individuals. Mm -hmm. Amen? So nothing is wasted with God. Hallelujah. So, so everything that you need that pertains to life and godliness, God has prepared it for you. Amen. 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 Thank you. Just think about it. Just think about it. I want you to think about this. That in the 60s, in the 50s, thank you, Lord, there was a certain amount of struggle and temptation that they were going through that the people in 2001 don't go through. Huh? That they haven't experienced in the 60s. Uh, my God, you follow what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, but God knows. And God, God, God tailored his great and precious promises, his deliverance to the age that you are living in. Yeah. Uh, and he did it. The scripture, my God, he did it with wisdom. Uh, and, he, and there's another word, wisdom, and it says equity. Uh, and that word equity means that he was meticulous about it. Uh, like, you ever see people putting together a model and they use a magnifying glass to get all the little specks into place? God did that and more with you. Uh, hallelujah. He looked and saw what you needed and tailored his blessings. Hallelujah. Toward you. Hallelujah. In the time that you would be living in. So that you there would be without excuse. Hallelujah. So, so that the enemy can't do nothing with you. Hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah. You talk about a scientist. God is a master scientist. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Lord. My God, y'all with me? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. So, so, so that's why we got a great hope. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's why, my God, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, hallelujah, that's why the enemy can't do you no harm. No. Amen. God has already calculated. Yeah. Amen. Y'all yeah. with me? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. All right. What verse are we in? 15. All right, read. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity. All right. Even the law of commandments contained in ordinances. Now, yeah, the law of commandments contained in ordinances. Being that the Jews, they took great pride in, in a lot of their commandments. In a lot of their ordinances. Amen. That, that set them apart from, from other people. Amen? Amen. But in Christ Jesus, he fulfilled all of that. Amen? So that they won't be no big eyes. So that they wouldn't be any little yous. Huh? That we are all one in Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen. Huh? We all have different assignments in him, but, but God looks at us all the same. Because with him, there's no respecter of person. Amen? We say, why are you telling me that, Pastor Friend? Because some people uh, are like to come in your atmosphere and make you feel like a sack of dirt. Uh, they try to bring you down. Hallelujah. But you say, oh no, baby. Hallelujah. I've been born with a price. Let me see your hands. Uh, let me see the nails in your hands. Uh, let me see the nails in your feet. Uh, it, it is Christ that died. Uh, yeah, brother. It is him that is risen again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So don't look down on me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Don't look down on me. Hallelujah. Don't look down on me. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You ain't got no right to look down on me. Thank you, Jesus. And that's the mindset uh, that God wants us to have. Uh, my God, I feel like the bishop right now. Uh, that's the mindset God wants us to have. Uh, elevate your mind. Uh, let's go higher in the Lord. Y'all remember that song, don't you? Uh, hallelujah. I like that refrain. They say, elevate your mind. Uh, let's go higher. Yeah. Amen. I ain't going to sing though. <laughs> let's go higher in the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And then going higher in the Lord, it, it, you got to have an elevated mind. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You got to believe you can do all things That's right. uh, through Christ that strengthens you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And not only believe it, but walk it out. Yeah. Live it. Amen. You got to live it. Right. I'll tell you, neighbor, I got to live this thing. Hey, you got to live it. Hey, come on, shot. Hallelujah. Thank you. Live it. Uh, greater is he. Uh, that's that mindset. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Though the storms of life may be raging, uh, I got an anchor. Uh, that's holding us steadfast. Huh? Thank you. That's that's how that's not, that's the kind of mindset God wants you to have. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Why? Yeah. It's true. Yes. Yes, Lord. Huh? It's yes. true. Yes, it is. Notice what Paul said, 15th chapter, 1 Corinthians. Don't go there. <laughs> he said, He said, Thanks be to God. Yeah. Huh? That giveth us what? The victory. The victory. Yes. Huh? And yeah. through our Lord and Savior, what? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. Do you believe that? Yeah. You believe you got victory? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and what you're facing right now, do you believe you got victory? Yeah. Uh, what you may face tomorrow, do you believe you got victory? Yeah. Uh, in yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, so give thanks. Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. And notice what he said. He said, if you believe that, be what? Steadfast. Yes. Uh, unmovable. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Always what? Abound, increase it in the work of the Lord. Yes. For as much as you know that your labor is what? Not in vain. Uh, you press your way out here tonight. Your labor ain't in vain. Uh, you're receiving a rich word of God. Uh, that's building you up. Uh, on your most holy faith. Holy, receive this word. Receive this anointing. Uh, that God has put in this house. Amen. Echo shot. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Doesn't matter what people say. Amen. We give too much emphasis on people. Uh, we give them too much power in our life. Uh, hey, hey. Hallelujah. The only one that should have that kind of power is God. 
Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says, fear God that is able to destroy the body and soul, yeah. cast it into hell. Right. Fear. Amen. Amen. Don't fear, man. Right. Huh? Right. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. My God. My God. Yeah. I'm waiting on the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. All right, read, Pastor. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, uh -huh. even the law of commandments contained in ordinance. Now, remember what I said. They, 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 the Jews were uh, meticulous about their commandments and ordinances. They added uh, more laws to God's laws. <laughs> Ain't that stupid? <laughs> Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. <laughs> but that don't make much sense. Why well, put a greater yoke on you? That's right. Amen. Jesus talked to him too about that. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, you put a yoke on you that, that yoke in your one finger uh, won't even touch. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't, don't put yokes on yourself. That's right. Amen. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Right. That's the devil's job. Mm -hmm. Don't do the devil's job. That's right. Thank you, Lord. But, but remember, that's when Jesus came at him when he told him about prayer. He said, you like to stand in the street corner with long perfectories on your clothes on, praying in the corner so that you can have praises of men. Yeah. Amen. And Jesus said, don't be like that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't, don't start praying like that so that you can be heard for your much speaking. Yeah. Uh, let your yea be yea and your nay be nay. Right. Amen. Yeah. And you'll see, they took it to the nth degree because they prided themselves in it. Mm -hmm. Amen. To, and they did it uh, not for good, but to pe put people down. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. We should never look to pe put people down. No. Amen? No. Uh, if you love, say you love God, you got to love man. Yeah. Amen? How can you say love, you love God yeah. whom you have not seen and hate your brother and sister that you see every day? Yeah. Amen? I may not like what you do, but I love you. Yeah. <laughs> I may not get with you, but I love you. Yeah. <laughs> I may not understand you, but I love you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And, I, and I'm going to have compassion on you to try to help you uh, when you want the help. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Y'all with me? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So, so that's what he was saying. Uh, that, that Jesus fulfilled the law so that we're all one in him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. No big eyes, no little you. The Lord showed me this, and this is how he broke it down to me. Thank you, Jesus. He said, if, if the presiding bishop were to come into this room, he or she would have to be subject to the, to the usher. Amen? The usher has the power to say, Bishop, this is where you need to sit. Huh? This, is where, this is the way you need to go. Huh? Thank you, Lord. And, and, and the Lord showed me. That there's no that, that there's no great position uh, that that is not subject to anybody else's position. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You're somebody. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's why David said, "I'd rather be a doorkeeper yeah. <laughs> in the house yeah. of the Lord than to dwell in the tents of the wicked." Yeah. Uh, just as long as I make it in. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Jesus. As long as I make it in. Yeah. Come on here, somebody. It ain't about my title. Uh, it's about me being in the number. Hey, hey. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord, just let me be in the number. Hallelujah. Lord, let my name be written. Amen. That's all that matters. Am I right? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I was talking to one pastor today. Thank you, Lord. And I was telling her, you know, what the Lord had laid on my heart uh, for her to do. And she said, uh, well, what if, what if it ain't right? You know, what if, what if, what if well, how does she put it? What if I don't do it? Not, not in the sense of uh, being rebellious, but in the sense of that, uh, my, that assignment coming to her, the Lord, the drop of the word in her heart. She said, well, what if the Lord don't do it? And I said, well, my 30 years would be wasted. I'd be a false prophet. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. We laugh. Thank you, Lord. But, but we trust in God. Yeah. Uh, don't we? Yeah. We want to be led by God. Amen. 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 
I believe God. Do you believe God? Yeah. Amen. And that's what God, that's what counts with him. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. All right, read, Pastor Doug. For to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace. Now, here we go. Christ, God, wants you to be in Christ so he can make you new. Amen? Amen. In being new, you got to put all old things away from you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. Then the first old thing you should put away from you is that old mind. Right. Yeah. Huh? Be renewed in your mind. Yeah. If you're renewed in your mind, you'll lose all those old habits. Yeah. Yeah. That old way of thinking. Yes. Amen? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. And, and, and if I'll say it like this. Holy Ghost is helping me here. The devil, when we were out there in the world, had so much influence on us that and when we get into the body of Christ, we think that he still has influence over us. Mm -hmm. It's like being in an abusive relationship. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you get away from the abusive person, and yet they still have a hold on you mm -hmm. when you're away from them. Mm -hmm. You can be 3,000 miles away from them, but they still controlling your actions. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the way we are when we first come into the body of Christ. That's the way we are if we don't pull down them strongholds Amen. 30, 20 years in the body of Christ. Right. You follow me? Mm -hmm. right. We've got to realize what the word says. Mm -hmm. That when I got baptized, when you got baptized in the name of Jesus, you were buried with him. Yes. Huh? Your, that old life was buried with him. Mm -hmm. Amen? And when you came up out of that water, huh? You came up, resuscitated, yeah. revived to do what? Walk in the newness of life. Amen? Mm -hmm. So the devil has no more authority over you. Right. Case in point. Mm -hmm. Case in point. When the children of Israel came out of Egypt, when they got into trouble, where'd their mind go? Back to Egypt. Mm -hmm. Lord, when we have died in Egypt, ain't there better food for us in Egypt? God was freeing them. But because they didn't like the journey, they murmured and complained. Yeah. Huh? And when it, when it got hard, they thought about the old life. Yes. Amen? Mm -hmm. I talked to a lot of drug dealers. They used to a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And when they come in holiness, it seemed like God dry up that money. Mm -hmm. Amen? To give, them, to give them confidence in Him. Mm -hmm. And when they get in trouble, they want to go back to selling the drugs. Amen. That's where they mind that. Mm -hmm. God wants you to loose the mindset of the old way. Yes. You're in a new and living way now. Amen. You're part of the household of faith. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Seek ye first the kingdom of God right. and his righteousness. Yes. He said all these other things shall be what? Yes. Add, be anxious for nothing. Yes. But with prayer and supplication let your requests be known unto God. Yes. Amen? Amen? New mindset. Mm -hmm. New way of living. Mm -hmm. New behavior. Yeah. New attitude. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. My God. Y'all won't believe I was listening to NPR News on today and they were uh, had a uh, report on there where they were uh, making uh, people using cuss words as, as leaders. Uh, people who use cuss words as strong individuals. Huh? They were promoting cussing. You follow me? And I said, now look at the devil. Now look at the devil. Somebody gonna believe that. Amen? And start cussing. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, what they are. <laughs> yeah. Thinking they're strong. Thinking that shows might. Thinking that shows courage. Thinking that intimidates somebody. Mm. And I said, I just got mad. Mm. Saying, who do you think you are? Who are you cussing at? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord. But you see what I'm saying? Yes. But that's the way of the world. Yes. The Bible says, uh, don't let evil, communi commu evil communications corrupt good manners. That's right. That's right. Amen. Don't go around cussing. That's right. Use your words. Be intelligent. Yes. <laughs> Amen. 
<laughs> Come on here, somebody. Uh, use the vocabulary. Amen. Amen. You got me around here cussing. No. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. No. There you go. Let's move on, Pastor. Oh, yeah. I'm getting mad. Verse 16. You know, uh -huh. And that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by uh, the cross. All right, now notice. We were reconciled back to who? God. God, because we belonged to God. We were in the beginning, and we were sold out by Adam, right? Yes. Thank you, Lord. Jesus came on the scene. He reconciled us. Yes. That reconcile is an accounting term. Mm -hmm. Amen. That means he, he paid the balance. Yes. <laughs> he yes. paid what was due. Yes. Amen. So, so that note, so that you can be free, mm -hmm. not to serve yourself, but free to serve God. Amen. 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 When the children of Israel came out of Egypt, the Passover was about them being set free to serve God. Yes. Amen. Not to serve themselves. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Notice, if you read that passage of Scripture, Moses told them that, that uh, I want, God said for you to go into the wilderness to do what? Worship Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. God frees you from the world so that you can worship him. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? It's all about him. It's not about yourself. No. God freed you so that you can serve him. Yeah. A lot of people get that screwed up. Mm -hmm. Amen? They think that uh, they come over in the body of Christ, they can do what they want to do. Yeah. You can't do it. Don't work like that. Yeah. You got to do what God wants you to do. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Why call it me Lord, Lord, and do not the things that I say? The anointing that he gives you is, is to empower you to do what he says. Yes. Not to do what you want to do. Amen. Amen. Amen? What profit if a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? And what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Yes. That's not only for those that are in the world, but those are for also for the people that are in the body. Yes. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all with me tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. All right, let's move on. Where we at? What verse? 16. Read that, read that 15 again. 15 again. Uh, Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law commandments contained in ordinances, uh -huh. for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace. Now notice, God, God had, had we, we were two, but now we're one. Mm -hmm. Now we're at peace with God. Yes. Amen? You're at peace with God. Bible talks about this. These three go in order. Grace, mercy, and peace. Amen? Those are the ingredients of salvation. Amen? God has, has grace upon you. Amen? Uh, through Jesus Christ, which allows him to have mercy upon you. Amen? And which allows him to be at peace with you. Amen? Amen? Thank you. And it goes in that order. If you were to read them in that in the scripture anywhere, you'll never see peace coming before grace. Huh? Thank you, Lord. And you'll never see them out of order. You follow me? Why? Because they're God's ingredients of salvation. You follow me? That means something. Hallelujah. Because of God's grace, He can have mercy upon you. Amen? Where He can have peace with you. Thank you, Lord. God no longer angry with you. Thank you. We want to see you do your best. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I don't have any favorite children, mm -hmm. uh, but I love them all. Amen. You follow me? Yes. And I want to see them all do well. Amen. You follow me? Mm -hmm. Same way with God. God, God. God wants to see all of us do well. Yes. That's right. We do. Amen. All right, read. What's the second? 16. Uh-huh. And then he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross. Now notice, God's purpose is to reconcile mm -hmm. us back to God mm -hmm. so that we can be what? Right. One body. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. One body back to God and it comes through the cross. Yes. I read it. Having slain the enemy, enmity thereby. Uh, I, I killed the en enmity thereby. Read. And came and preached peace to you uh -huh. which were afar off mm -hmm. and to them that, are, that were not. Now, talking about Jew and Gentile. We heard the gospel preached, the gospel of our salvation, yes. 
And, and that's that preaching. That's why it's so important to preach the gospel. Yes. Right. Preach the word. Mm -hmm. Be instant in season and out of season. Yes. Amen? Mm -hmm. Sometimes if I, if I preach, I often look back and say, man, did I talk about Jesus enough? Yeah. <laughs> did I talk about the blood enough? That's right. uh, did I talk about the gospel? Mm -hmm. Amen? Because it ain't preaching That's right. if it ain't talking about the gospel. Uh, they ain't talking about salvation. No, right. I think it was Shirley Caesar had a song that said that uh, just because you're making Christian music, they don't mean you're making the gospel. Yes, right. Amen. You're singing the gospel. That's right. uh, the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. Right. Amen. We're talking about the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. My God. That's what's powerful. Yes. That's what breaks that yoke. Yes. Amen. That's what turns people around. Uh, that's what the enemy is afraid of. Uh, I can give you a whole lot of precepts and concepts, but if I don't tell you about Jesus, that's right. yeah, hallelujah, that lily of the valley, yeah. uh, that bright and morning star, yeah. that rose of Sharon, yeah. uh, if I don't tell you about him, I ain't told you about nothing. Right. Uh, nothing else matters. Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. Right. Nothing else matters. That's it. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I'm going to say this. Uh, one of the most powerful books in the Bible as far as the, the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, I would have to rate uh, John's Gospel. Yeah. Amen. As, as, as one of the most powerful. Because if you only read that, mm -hmm. uh, that, that particular Gospel, yeah. uh, you can be saved to the uttermost. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because John, he teaches you about Jesus. Yeah. I, and I ain't putting down the rest of those Gospels wow. because they're powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Don't get me wrong. Amen. But the way John wrote, hallelujah, the beloved, yeah. <laughs> hallelujah, that, 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 he captured something, uh -huh. amen, that the others didn't capture, yeah. uh, and that was intentional, yeah. amen, hallelujah, my God. He captured the sonship. Yeah, there it is, Pastor, you're talking. Mm -hmm. uh, he captured the sonship, hallelujah, yeah. <laughs> hey, God gave you that hot off the griddle mm -hmm. for me. <laughs> He captured the sonship. Yeah. Hallelujah. Jesus, the Son of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God so loved the world yeah. uh, that He gave His only begotten Son. Yeah. That whosoever, whosoever, Believing in him shall not perish, but have what? Everlasting life. Hallelujah. That life is in Jesus. Hey, hallelujah. And as many as received him, to them gave he power. Hallelujah. To become the sons of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't let nobody fool you. Don't nobody take this glory away from you. Hey, it's been too, it's too precious. Hey, hallelujah. Don't put it on the shelf. You display it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell everybody about Jesus. Hey, honey, tell everybody about the master. Hey, tell everybody about your Savior. Thank God, oh, son. The more you tell, the greater he comes in you. Yeah. The more real he is to you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hey, hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. This one brother said, he was talking to this one guy, telling me, he, he said, what you doing? Uh, he said, well, I'm, I'm preaching the gospel. He said, I thought Jesus was dead. He said, well, I just got done talking to him five minutes ago. <laughs> hey, he ain't dead. Hey, come on, shut up. He's yelling alive. Hey, we feel him in this room, though. Hey, we feel that anointing, though. You mess with me, I'll call on him, and he'll show up. <laughs> hey, come on, shut Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man, Sam said it's the sweetest name I know. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, Pastor. My God. Woo. I feel 
feel like I can run through the troops, leap over the walls. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. I'm sorry, Pastor. Go ahead. Read that. 17. All right. And came and preached peace to you which were afar off, uh -huh. and to them that, that were not. Read. For through him uh -huh. we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Now, through Jesus, right. we both, Jew and Gentile, yeah. have access by one spirit, yeah. one Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. huh? to the Father. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My God. Read. Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners. Now, this is why uh, we're coming here tonight. We're no longer strangers. Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not a stranger to God. No. God is not a stranger to me. No. Amen. Hallelujah. You are not a stranger to God. No. God is not a stranger to you. No. Amen. So come in His presence. Yes. Uh, with thanksgiving. Yes. Enter His courts with yes. praise. Yes. Amen. Come boldly to the throne of grace. I seek the Lord. My may be found. Yes. Call on Him while He is here. Yes. Don't forsake your help. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're somebody. Hey, You're somebody. Uh, you're somebody. You, Hallelujah. Our highest office in the land is the President of the United States. But Jesus is higher than that. Uh, we're far above principalities and powers. Uh, we're seated at the right hand of God in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, glory. We, what's it say, Pastor? Now, therefore, you are no more strangers and foreigners. No, you're not a stranger. You're not a foreigner. But fellow citizens with the saints. <laughs> now, notice that word. He called you fellow citizens. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you're a part of a kingdom now. Yes. Uh, you're a citizen. Yes. Amen? Amen? And with a, being a citizen, you got some rights. Amen? Amen? Amen. Uh, if you were to go to another country, you say, hey, I'm a citizen of the United States. Mm -hmm. They'll back up off of you. Why? Because you got some rights. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. When Paul, he was he was uh, being beat uh, by some Roman soldiers, uh -huh. and he told the Roman soldiers, "Hey, y'all better be careful with me. Uh -huh. I, I'm, a, I'm a Roman myself." Uh -huh. And the guy tried to punk him out uh -huh. and said, "Paul, you know, with a great price, we bought that." Paul said, "I was free born." Yes. Uh, you tell that devil you've been born again. Yes. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah, you've been born in this state. You are part of the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Come on, give God a praise. Hey, somebody pray it up in here. Somebody singing God up in here. Hallelujah. Three more. Hey, born again. Uh, of the water and the spirit. I got my BA. How many of y'all got y'all BA? Hey, Hallelujah. I'll uh, tell that devil back up off of you. Uh, I'm the son of God with power. Uh, hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. You did that authority to come down from angels. I'm the spirit. spirit. You did that authority to call Michael. I'm in the name of Jesus. Stranger, uh, get that in your mind. You're not over a foreigner. Read. The fellow citizens with the saints. But you're a fellow citizen with the saints. And of the household of God. Now notice, you're of the household of God. When you're a part of God's household, you can go into God's refrigerator and get whatever you want. Yeah. At any time you want. Yeah. Amen. Because he put it there for you. Yeah. <laughs> Come on here, somebody. That's right. uh, you ain't, you ain't got to ask permission. I just go get it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You with me? Whatever you need. Because you're a part of God's household. It's there for you. For you to enjoy. For you to use. Amen. For you to be nourished up. For you to be strengthened. For you to be healed. For you to be delivered. Amen. It's that. Amen. Hallelujah. It's all paid for. 
Huh? My children don't worry about the lights. They don't worry about the gas. Huh? <laughs> they don't worry about food in the refrigerator. Amen. It's all paid for. It's there. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. All right, read. Read. 20. Huh? And they're built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Now, now notice, you got a heritage. You're built up on the foundation yes. of the apostles yes. and the prophets. Yes. Amen. Read. Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Amen. Jesus himself being the chief cornerstone. Read, Pastor. In whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord. Now tell yourself, I fit in Christ. I, I finally found where I belong. I found where I belong. <laughs> Come on here, somebody. Hey, come on, shout. I'm not a misfit. You're not a misfit. Oh, hey, hey. Hallelujah. All right, read, Pastor. In whom ye also are built together uh -huh. for an habitation of God through the Spirit. All right, God inhabits you. Yes. Uh, isn't God inhabiting us yes. right now? Yes. Uh, through His Spirit. Yes. I read, my God. That's the end of the second Oh, step. thank you. Hallelujah. See, I wanted to go in on those verses there, but I don't have time. My time up. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I'm respecting your time. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, just give God a praise. We hope. We built up. We somebody. Amen. Amen. Lift up your mouth down there. Strengthen your people needs. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Those that want to give through tithe, tithing, have an opportunity to give to sow seed into the kingdom. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Just find uh, Christian ministries of the apostolic faith on yes. tithing and sow a seed. Mm -hmm. Amen. We thank God for you tuning in on today. May heaven smile upon you. May God bless you. In Jesus' name.